Hi everyone, today we've got a special, very special guest. We've got Muzzy from MacTrans. Thanks for coming around, mate. No way, Sam. All good. No drama. We've got a, uh, a really big surprise, and uh, it's Muzzy and Yasmin's beautiful new truck, uh, Max Superliner. Uh, celebrating their uh, 100th year anniversary, which also coincides with Muzi and Yasmin's 20th um, anniversary. So it's a massive event, and uh, mate, I've known you for a long time, like since we were kids. Oh, yes. Yeah, and it's just, yeah. this is an amazing uh, moment to um, be standing here with you looking at this truck because um, yeah, I can see all the blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into it, you know? Oh, she's like, a monster, mate. Yeah, it's a lot of, lot of hours and a lot of man hours, and yeah, for everyone involved. And, no, it is. It's, um, yeah. it's absolutely, you know, for people with trucks, enthusiasts, or even, you know, trailer people, um, it doesn't get much better than this. This is just mind blowing. Thanks, mate. No, no, appreciate it. She's definitely a mind blowing bit of gear, ain't she? She's big. Yeah, absolutely. She's as big as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look around and um, right. we'll show everyone a few of the features. No worries at all. All right, so Muzzy, it's a Max Superliner, 100th year anniversary. Yep. Um, tell us a few features about the truck. Like, what's what? I know there's a lot to talk, and we've only got so much time. But, yeah, that's it. but how many? Uh, what sort of? What's so special about it? Okay, so Mac bought out. It's a hundred year anniversary for Mac Trucks uh, Australia um, worldwide. Yep. So they bought out a, a number of trucks in the Superliner and uh, a Mac Trident. So I bought yep. the heavy back, heavy back Superliner, heavy spec Superliner. Yep. To do our job, obviously, for heavy haulage. Yep. And then, um, so they they put to it together a truck a bit different to the normal Superliner. So what they've done, they've actually, as you can see here, the the old, the old school bonnet is like the 07 Titans and all that sort of stuff. That's a, a this bit here, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's all a square, old yep. yep. school looking. Yeah. Instead of the new, the new shape, new shapes more rounder. Yes. This is more of a square old school look. Yeah. Like everybody yep. likes these days. Looks neat. Looks, Looks very neat. neat. Yeah. yeah. So I've got the, the old school headlights. Yep. The big grill. Yep. The big radiator. Yeah. Uh, for the cooling packages uh, for when it's going. The big um, tow hitch down the yeah, down the so bottom the, here. Uh, the King bars made me a special ball bar to suit the truck, so it's all, yep. um, all heavy rated in the front. Yep. It's got the old school sleeper bunk on it, yep. like not the new style. So yep. a lot of stuff is eventually built around the, around the 2005, what the old school sort of look. Yeah, okay. Then the new, the modern look of the truck, yeah. And the number plate, mate, how did you secure that? And that was just, um, I suppose the luck of the draw. We just, we put it in there and then, um, we actually thought that would be taken, but no, yeah. so we actually, yeah, yeah, it worked out really well and yeah, yeah we secured it straight away. Oh, awesome. Yeah, no, and it worked out good. And everywhere, like truck. Yeah. yeah, and everywhere you look on this truck, there's like, oh, there's literally a, just a, every single part there's has just got... something unique about the whole lot. Yep. Everywhere yep. you turn, there's something new, there's something, the detail, yep. it's just, yeah, everything's very unique, well and, thought of. And with the paint, tell me about the paint. So the paint, so, um... So they come up with a special paint when they um, built the truck and to their specifications. And what I've really done about it, yeah. I've doubled it. So what they've done, I've doubled and tripled it and done more. So I've virtually repainted the whole truck. Yeah. And um, just start again. And with more, with more pearl, more bling, just everything's just extra, extra, extra. Yeah, so. Is it true that you painted it and then you weren't happy with it, so you told them to repaint it again? Yeah, we did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we did. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we just um, we oh, just yeah. started again. Poor, Love it. Poor old Rob from Bel Air truck painters just yeah, he just done an awesome job. He just kept to try to make me happy. He just kept starting and like back yeah, the boards yeah. Yeah, so he done a terrific job. Put up with me anyway. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome, mate. That's awesome. And yeah. um, you do hold a pretty high standard. I know that with uh, yeah. painting all your trailers. Yeah, thanks. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, uh, I keep to a separate, uh, good standard. Yeah. yeah. And um, all the stainless so. Uh, Where did you get all the stainless done? That so the stainless done at um, a place called um, Bling Man, Ryan. Right. Done it. So we, I went, I engaged him and yep. tell him what I want done. Yeah. So we started off there and then um, we just kept going, escalating, just put more yep. and more and more and yep. got to the stage where it's just we couldn't put any more. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so um, yep. he done yep. a real good job and he, had, he also done all the lights and everything as well. So yep. yeah, yeah. No, he just... done a real good job and then, and then I went to our workshop and then we done all the. Uh, the back end, the guards. Yep. Um, we'll, get, we'll get that in a minute. But yep. We've done all that. Yep. No, so, beauty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Eh? Well, let's um, let's take a look uh, 
let's take a look down at the the tanks. So what about these uh, fuel tanks, mate? What's that representing? Looks like is right, that New so, York? Yeah. So the, the fuel, the whole truck is based on my son wanted. He said, Dad, can we do something different to this truck? I said, yeah. What do you want different? He goes, all, all my other trucks are like a Western theme, old yeah. school Western. Yeah. And um, he goes, Oh, I wouldn't mind doing something a bit more modern. I said, What would you like? He goes, I want to do something more like a a mafia gangster looking truck. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit truck being black. I go, all right. I so say he thought about. The gangs to look and and he goes and then I and he goes I took over from there so right I so I, I took over and I so we done the tanks we repainted um, it's New York Manhattan on yeah. all, all through the back like in a silhouette sort yeah. of thing yeah and the trucks got the the bulldog which is the Mac with the bullet representing a, a little gangster bulldog <laughs> so he's sitting and on the bulldogs case. everywhere so yeah it's bulldogs everywhere. So he's sitting on a case of money he's just done a big he's just done a big drug bust. And yeah. He's got his own gun and he's sitting on the money, so come and catch me if you can. <laughs> That's what that represents. So yeah, he's on right. the waterfront. If, if you've ever been in New York, you see under the bridge. Yeah. It's all it's all just all waterfront there. Yep. So he's sitting there all happy, he's Larry. Yeah. And doing his own little thing and he's guarding yeah. his money. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta guard the money. So he's guarding his money. Uh, so that's what the tanks represent. Yeah, a bit cool. of a feature of the truck of, of what the whole truck's all about too. And what about the straps, the detail on those straps? So the straps are just like, so we thought we'd do something a bit different with the straps, a plain looking strap, so we just thought we'd just dump as, as a belt buckle. Yep. To help, like, so like the tie in. To collar of his neck, off the bulldog's neck. Yep, yep. And then just holds it up just to make it look a bit nice. Yeah, no, yeah. it's awesome. It's got our 20th anniversary logo of Mac Trans Heavy Haulage on there. Oh, yeah, it does too. See, see yep, yep. MHH 20 years. Yeah. So, awesome. Uh, yeah, so also we've got the stainless written there. Yeah, and that's a beautiful tribute, isn't it? Mac yeah, Trans 20th anniversary. Yeah. Muzi and Yasmin. And my company there. Fantastic. Yeah. And um, yeah, so like I said, it's a special truck. Absolutely. And um, we didn't mind spending a few little extra dollars on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. And how long would it have taken to, you know, to do all that artwork? So that artwork took about three weeks in preparation by the time you do the drawings um, come he come to me Jeff came to me from Cyclone Airbrushing said Muzzy what do you reckon we put it we put a drawing on there a lot of people don't know this but we had two drawings already on there <laughs> I wasn't happy with it we wiped it off <laughs> we wiped it off we start again yeah yeah, and Jeff yeah. Goes, are you serious and I said yep wipe it off let's wow. start again not happy with it yeah and um, we done it and we, we went from there and then we come up with a situation that he was happy, I was happy and then yeah. we sort of started and, and come up with this idea. Wow, well mate, yeah. it's certainly, uh, it's fantastic. It's got the desired effect, that's yeah, for thanks. sure. Thanks, yeah. yeah. And uh, stripes. So the, the stripes, stri uh, so the truck came out as a, as a, as a plain black, uh, unique colour for Mac. Yeah. A special colour. And then um, my company colours are the, the stripe pattern. So I've come yeah. up with the gold instead of the blue, under yeah. the black. And sort of make it like a, a Mac Trans colour scheme, but different colours. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, Amazing. Um, obviously the colours with the pearls and all the mixes and all that in it. Yeah. It really pops it out. Absolutely. Like yeah. there's so much gold in it, the fleck. Oh, the gold is just unreal. It yeah. just sets it off. Like yeah. hopefully we can, it, you're getting a good look through the camera, but the, the reflection off the sun is like, oh, the guys it's from sparkling. Yeah. Had a, had a big job in the hands when they had to do this. Yeah, no, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it came out really well. Oh, fantastic! Really and, the, and the exhaust, the exhaust come from America. That special exhaust. Yeah. So they call it monster exhaust. So that, that took about uh, all eight inch from all the, from the bottom all the way to the top. Eight inch pipe. Eight inch pipe. Yeah. All the yeah. way through. Yeah, all the way through. And it took like um, that especially make it. So it took about ten weeks to make. Yeah. And then ship it over. Unbelievable. Because yeah, the crime's American crime. Especially made. Especially made, yeah. It's all American crime. Yep. Not the Chinese stuff. Yep, beauty. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Which we know could fade later. So Absolutely. The crane comes off. So. Yeah, yeah. This has got better longevity in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's good. So, no, it looks yeah. beautiful. Now, this is my favourite part, the back end. So, Muzzy, is that Al Capone? He's a gangster, obviously. Yeah, mate, yeah. So, that's Al Capone. Yeah, he's definitely a gangster. <laughs> so, that's why we got the truck sort of named after him. Yeah. As a gangster theme, yeah. yeah. So, and so. tell us a bit about that. Is it um, there's a lot of there's a lot of money sitting on that table. Yeah, so he loves he loves dealing in money. So yeah. we sort of thought we need to, we need a, a good gangster character to, to sort of represent the truck. So we think yeah. 
we sort of like him and he's a good character. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of um, good, unique points about him. Yeah, yeah. I know it's all bad, but yeah. but he's also a, not a bad bloke. So, yeah, we thought anyway. And and uh, Kingpin. Kingpin. So that, That's the name of the truck. So that's the name of the truck. So yeah. Back in his day, he was the Kingpin. Up yeah. Home, so we yeah. sort of matched it all in. And, yeah, that's tidy. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Very nice. And so with these toolboxes on the back here, that, that's also obviously a custom job. Yeah, so um, Ice Pack Services, uh, Hortec Engineering. Yep. They done, uh, Hortec Engineering done all the toolboxes over yep. at Waycoll. Yep. So, yeah, so they done um, the Ice Pack, the toolboxes, and, um, and, all that, and all the rack and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah fantastic. So, so they done all that, that, the boys done that. They done a real good job of that. And the lighting is... Um, the lighting um, is next level. Yeah, so we done that. <laughs> the Mac Trans headquarters done that. The guys in our workshop, oh, our good. boiler makers, yeah, yeah, Mick and Brad. Yeah. Um, done all that sort of, we've done, cut all them out, and done the lights. Um, they done all the custom guards. Yep. All the back end, the turntable. Yeah. Yeah, so they've done a really good job, our guys, in our workshop as well. Oh, so, awesome. Yeah, hats off to them. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. And the Tommy gun? The Tommy gun, so that was a, an idea of just a, as a gun, just sitting there. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, it's a nice touch. Nice little touch, <laughs> a finished touch of the product, you know? Yeah, absolutely. From the back of the truck, yeah. No, oh, good. And these guards... Um, so they're all custom made, so we've got them yep. all, all uh, rolled up. Yep. It's all high tensile steel. Yep. We've got them rolled, so we thought... Where do we buy a guard from? Do we, do we get stainless, like every run at the mill, or do we get yep. the checker plate that everyone really does in the rubber at the back? Yep. So we sort of wanted something that no one else has got. Yeah. So we thought, well, we might as well make our own. So we made yeah. our own, got them rolled up, um, strong as anything. And um, yeah. No, they, and they looked apart, the mate. And color coded. They looked apart. The yes. And I love the badge on the on yeah, the top. So That's the so the good. Feature the tracks of the, the yeah. front of the truck got the badge, the back yep. of the back. Got a badge, and we got the little mini ones at the back as well. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, there they are there. Yeah. So. Oh, beautiful. And this tow hitch. Yeah. So we. So that is that is big heavy duty tow hitch. Yeah. So um, she's rated for she, she's all rated for 250 ton pull at the back. Beauty. Yeah. yeah. So we done that in house too. So yep. Nick and Brad done that in our workshop. Yep. Yeah. So mm. that's all made of um, Bisloy steel. High mm -hmm. tensile. Unreal. No, they don't really good job. And, and all the, all the uh, tail light to go with it. Yeah. Tail oh, it all ties in well, doesn't it? All ties in well. And the turntables, it's all on air slide. Yeah. Turntable, as you know. Oh, yeah. So you yep. guys do the same thing. It's all yep. Heavy. Yep. And it's got load scales as well. Oh, you got the scales there too. Beauty. Yep. So, Muzzy, something I've never seen before, and I've hooked up a few trucks and trailers when they're coming to pick their trailers up yeah. is rubber on the handle mate like oh, that is unbelievable <laughs> yeah <laughs> we thought we'd come up with something so, yeah. something so it doesn't damage your guard so absolutely like a little bit of rubber no that's good that's yeah. a nice little touch mate it is, isn't it? and um so talk about the, the 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 rear end here so hub reduction yes mate yeah it's got the big hub reduction diffs yeah yep yeah which is the yeah. max slash volvo Yep. They're really faultless, so they're an excellent suspension yep. and diffs with a six ride back end. And what's it rated to? Um, it's rated 265. 265, yeah, wow, that'll look one, cool. yeah. It's going to look awesome with, yeah. a, with the Drake behind it. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%, <laughs> mate. It definitely will be, yeah. Uh, awesome. Yeah. So, the ice pack, what's, uh, what's, tell me about this one. So, this is an ice pack 4000. Yep. Um, it's, it's one of the biggest one ice pack all tech make. Yeah. Um, so it's not just an air conditioning system for the drive for cool air, it's actually yeah. a reverse cycle heating system as well. So you've got heater as well as air conditioning. Unbelievable. So in the cold country in New South Wales, anywhere yeah. in New South Wales, wherever, Victoria, wherever it's cold, yeah. you can set your little remote control to um, heat up to 30 yeah. degree heat inside the cab. So um, Unbelievable. that's a special feature with the, with the Mac 100 year anniversary which oh. it comes with. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so you can be warm as toast. That's unreal. Have you got a spa in there as well, mate? <laughs> well, we might as well. Something's missing. We've got a shower. Yeah. It's all oh, heated. Where's yeah. the shower? Uh, the shower's in here. So if you want to pop in here, so when the driver you can open that up, it's got a full hot water system in here. And it's got the shower. Oh, yeah, the hot, cold. The Just the pull shower. that out there. Yeah. It's got the shower here. You yeah. can hang it up here. Mm -hmm. Or you can soap up, you can just, you can soap up. Yeah. And just Give us a demonstration, mate. <laughs> but yeah, the shower's in uh, here. Hang it there, whatever you want to do, it's, yeah. it's all here, yeah. Unreal. And down there, there's a few um, taps as well. So, um, 
So my son wanted to um, to wash his truck when he's um, waiting for loads and all sort of stuff. See, so oh, okay. So he's got his yep. own hose. He can plug it in here. Yep. He's got an electric pump underneath to yep. pump the water, and then he can just turn that on, wash his truck, do what he's got to do. Yeah. All job done. Also, you've got um, a tap here. So you can wash your hands. Oh, how good is that? Anytime you want. Yeah. No drama. And w where's the tank for that? Um, it's got it's got hundred water tank. tank underneath here, under the toolboxes, on either side of the truck. It's got water tanks. A hundred liters. A hundred liters. Oh, and nice. It's either side. Nice one. Yeah. And what's that? What is that? So this this thing here, uh, this is our stiff bar. Oh, so every, every big truck should have a stiff bar. Yeah, normally you see them out the back there though. Yeah. So usually they put them out the back here or under the, yeah. under the tail light over there. Yeah. So we thought we'd do something nice and easy as well. Yeah. Undo your bolts, slide it here from waist, nice and you know, no yep. worries at all. You'd have to stretch down. Yep. Slide it out, slide it back in, and it's and it's yep. out of the road seam. So that you're not tripping when you're hooking your platform up. Yep, yep. Yep. And that's your step here. Oh yeah, beauty. Straight up there and there's nothing there to bother you. Yeah. All you do is you're standing on money, that's all. <laughs> you know, like that little special feature. Yeah, that's unreal. I yeah. love that. Yeah, so that so awesome. yeah, it's yeah. all tucked away, really neat. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, beauty, beauty. Everything has been thought about. You thought about every, oh, even right through to what you just said there about the waist height. Waist height, so you're not bending. So you're not down. bending and. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. good one, mate. That's no. um, that's beautiful. A lot of thinking, a lot of preparation. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Muzi, I noticed the uh, sleeper cab looks different to the latest model ones. What's that all about? Yeah, so part of the 100 year package, um, as we said before, they went old school, so the old school look is the old V type on the front. Yeah. Like yeah. So that they um, redesigned the sleeper cab to make it a V, a v shape in the front, so it looks very unique and different. To very the style. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. And what's yeah. that? Um, you've got written. It's like there's. You've actually got Mactrans written on the visor. Yeah. So we got the drop down sun <laughs> it's visor. Cool. So we color coded yeah. that black, and yeah. we've got Mactrans imprinted inside it and, and sort of airbrushed but not sort of in your face but it is subtle yeah, subtle a very subtle silhouette looking so when you drive down the road you can see it but you, yeah you got to really look for it that is beautiful yeah, mate yeah so absolutely lovely all right what's getting me excited is seeing what's under the bonnet mate can we take a look yeah for sure Sam. Nah, yeah. beauty we'll um we'll drop the ball and have a look under the hood all right nice one Yep. Right, I Sam, check this out, guys. Unreal, mate. This is uh, this is really something. Yeah. So tell me a bit about so all the pipes. You got some of the pipes are uh, you know obviously the coolant pipes and air heights are painted. Yeah. So the we rocker got your, cover. Um, so we got yeah. This is all your air, your cold air intake. Yep. So this is all. So that's all your cold air stuff. So we've done. A bit of a feature like it's all coal rushing through the yep. inside the pipe, so that's yep. actually inside your pipe. Yeah. Air charge. Um, you got your air charger that goes from here. Yeah. Into the into the system there and comes out there. Yeah. You got your little this the green is your coolant. Yep. So you got a little bulldog in there. You're swimming. <laughs> you're swimming in there. Um, what a touch. Yeah. And what about this um, down here? Can you handle this? Yeah. So that's a nice little. So it's just a bit of a, a bit of a thing to say, yeah. can you handle the big truck? Like, yeah. can you handle this? It's, it's just like... Uh, funny. Bit of a saying, so, uh, yeah. And mate, like everything on this truck, you've gone big with the horn too by the looks. So, so we, got, we wanted something that, to really catch people's eye when you're going down yeah. the road to say, he wants to honk the horn. So we, <laughs> some of a standard hall, we went to an extreme. <laughs> and we said, where can we get this? So yeah. the one place that went to our mind is America. Let's, let's go shopping in America. So, yeah. uh, so we, we come and said the biggest horn they make is a train horn, and um, this is what we've got here. We're all mounted under the bonnet, safe. That's huge, mate. It's huge. It is huge. It's big. We'll have to crank that up later. Yeah, we'll give it a bit of a hoot later. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, let's um, check out the other side. Okay, we'll walk around the other side. Mate, we're on the other side of the uh, engine bay now. Yep. Uh, and sure enough, there's plenty more uh, murals, mate. So what? Uh, and just when you think you've seen it all, yeah, uh, you've got the dog shoveling coal. Yeah. So we've got a little dog there it's <laughs> near the turbo there. So he's he's in there, old school shoveling to get more horsepower. So yeah, he's sort of in there, just just a bit of a laugh sort of thing. Yeah. Bloody beautiful. 
And this guy here, another one? Yeah, so he, he's there in, in the cool air. <laughs> so as the intercooler sucks. Yeah, so in. one shoveling coal and one's... <laughs> one's giving a cold, cold induction. Yeah, 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 yeah nice yeah. one. A bit, no, more horse, a bit more power, so he's a really muscly little dog there. Yeah. And um, yeah. No, beautiful, mate. You've certainly um, gone to a lot of uh, extra effort under here, that's for sure. Yeah, so no, we sort of we sort of thought, oh, where do we where do we stop? So I think yeah. it, it starts from the engine yeah. and goes the whole yeah. truck all yeah. the way to the back to the chassis rail. So yeah. so every bit of the truck's got a bit of bit of special feature. Yeah, and can't and it's a um, what sort of engine is it? Uh, so it's an MP10 uh, Mac engine, 700 horsepower, the yep. style. Oh, nice one. Yeah. I bet, you it's really, I bet you it's really fuel efficient too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We hope so anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Right. Because uh, you kept this one quiet, mate. I didn't notice this. Yeah, so when you, when you flip the bonnet up, Sam, um, you've got the heavy haulage mafia. So that's another feed, another name of the truck as well. Yeah. So it's just a bit of a low key name. Um, <laughs> so we've got, we got the dog with its guns hanging out with his cigar. He's a, very, he's a very classy dog and very gangster style <laughs> dog, so he's a bit of a mixture of both, yeah. of both breeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, then we've got the class above to sort of match the whole lot. That's the name of the truck, the class above as well. So, so like you said, everywhere you turn, Sam, yeah. you sort of see we've got different features of the truck. Yeah. Absolutely, and I love the big the, the big V-shaped stripe on the bonnet as yeah. well. So we, we sort really of carry good. the stripe from, from the back yeah. to the front, yeah. to the, over the bonnet as you know when you fit the bonnet you can sort of see all that yeah unreal so, tidy and a class above eh the class above mate so That's yeah good. So. it's got some good names this truck yeah so it's got a few good names and um, you can sort of call it what you want to call it yeah in other words you know 100 percent um, oh beauty All right, so we're in the truck, and uh, the first thing I've noticed, mate, is what is that? All righty, so, so when you're driving the truck, Fadil wanted to put something on there so you can sort of look at it all the time, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, young fellas these days. So yeah. he came up with an idea to say um, the price of cool and cheap. Yeah, nice. So you've got, you've got the little um, the knuckle busters here yeah. with, the, with the money, and he's got a gun there, so... And, and, it's, and it's all um, painted matte black, so... Yeah, so unbelievable. Just a, bit, just a bit an extra feature to the truck when yeah. when he's driving, so he can look at, look at something. Yeah, say, oh, no, this is cool. No, beauty. Yeah. And um, what other special features are in here? Obviously, um, got the interior. So, so um, we got all this custom made. So it's all um, brush stainless. Yep. So they got custom made for Mac Trans Heavy Haulage, the 20th anniversary for our company. Yep. Um, and then the 100 year Mac um, down the bottom there. Um, in the interior wise, um, I ordered the red um, trim instead of the grey, so I want a bit more more um, unique. Yeah. I reckon the red really looks cool. Yeah, no, it's yeah, beautiful. With the black. Yeah, yeah. So um, they, they sort of said, oh, they, wanted, they don't do the red, so I sort of what's said, no, I need the red. <laughs> I want the red. Oh, you wouldn't as, take no for as, an as you know what I'm like, Sam, That's I want something, I want it. <laughs> That's generally what happens. <laughs> um, it's got little yeah. um, stainless features on, on your on your gadgets there, on the yep. inside there. Yep. And also the, the door trims, it's got Mac Trans custom up on the on the door trims there. Uh, unreal. And are the seats um, special yeah, as well? Yeah, the seats, so they're special seats. Badged. They're all badged 100 year anniversary on yep. both seats. Yeah. Um, both air seats, air, so the passenger and the driver's got comfort there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so they, they really, it's all good for that. But uh, no spa in the back, mate. But I can no see spa. plenty. Of, I can no. see plenty of other stuff. Yeah, there's plenty of other stuff. Yeah. It's, got, it's got your um, your microwave. Like you yeah. said, it's got your heating system. Yeah. Um, four fridges, freezer, normal fridge, freezer, all that sort of stuff. Four fridges. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wow. Um, yes, yeah, so I know everything's unique about it. It's all pretty good there. Beautifully appointed, isn't it? Yeah. 
They've yeah. done a they've done a fantastic job. Yeah. And um, so Get some the driver, of those driver comfort anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No. Unreal. Unreal. No. Well done, mate. Thank you. So I think that brings us to the end of our uh, awesome tour around the truck, mate. Thanks a lot, and no mate, congratulations, fantastic. That's One more thing, yeah. uh, what about the build number? Okay. So the build date, so when Mac Trucks, um, when we first signed off on it, they said, yeah. what build date do you want for the truck? So yeah. we, because the Mac Trans Heavy Haulage is the 20th anniversary, yeah. and we started off in, in uh, year 2000, yeah. so, we, so we actually chose that as a build date, and um, so Yasmin and I, sort of thought about that and said that that, that, that sort of sums that up. And That's beautiful and, yeah. and celebrates your 20th anniversary. 20th anniversary of Mac Trans Heavy Haulage as well, yeah. so, so and we just, um, we've done that. And good for you and, and congratulations and our, our two families have been, you know, knowing yeah. each other for a long time, doing yeah. business and good friends for a long and time. we'll keep and it going. We'll keep it going, yeah, that's <laughs> the sure. plan. For sure, Sam, no, I appreciate so it. So, no, mate. congratulations. Really appreciate coming out and giving everyone a good look around the truck. No worries at all. And, yeah. um, I hope you enjoyed it. No, nah, we did, absolutely. Yeah. And Now, I want to hear the horn. You want to hear the horn? <laughs> right, we'll, get, we'll get in there and we'll beat the right, horn. Right there. Very good, sir.